Hi guys, welcome back. We've got another skincare reaction video, but this is a very special one. This is probably the most requested because not only am I reacting to Kylie Jenner's skincare routine, I also have all of her products right in front of me. So there's a little combo action happening right here. One thing to know is her video is on her personal YouTube channel and she's obviously using her entire skincare line, Kylie Skin, which she's promoting obviously. Because this is a little bit different than the way I usually do skincare reaction videos because I have actual products in front of me, um, I'm gonna kind of go through the routine with her and then stop and give you also my first impressions of these products because I have given them a little bit of a try too. Um, one product that I did not purchase is her makeup wipes. Surprise, surprise. I wasn't even gonna bother with it because why? You guys know I'm not gonna use them. Makeup wipes to me are, you know, just one of those things that I just wish we would get rid of in society. I feel like now they've become overused. They have lots of surfactants in them and they make you, they make people be really rough on their skin. Makeup wipes are not my go-to, but that said, I will give it to Kylie. I mean, makeup wipes are big sellers. And if you're going to be creating a skincare line, especially one that's aimed at people that are much younger, probably more in their 20s and maybe even in their teens, makeup wipes are going to sell. So of course I understand why she would come out with makeup wipes. One thing I will say though, I do praise Kylie for coming out with a skincare line, cause why not? At the end of the day, you guys, skincare, beauty, all of it, this is all to make a profit. People are making money. She's obviously done really well in the beauty market and beauty industry. And I actually think that the next step was for her to come out with a skincare line. So I'm really curious to see how it's gonna do. Obviously it's already selling out and they're already gonna release a whole new batch. So she's, she's crushing the market. Another thing I'll point out is the whole kit was $125, which in my opinion for an entire skincare routine is not a crazy price when you're thinking about it. You know, there are some products that can be $125 for one product. The most expensive product in this whole line is the vitamin C and that was $28, which I still think is a fairly affordable vitamin C serum if it's a good one. There are definitely some pros to her skincare line. I don't wanna just trash the skincare line. I think a lot of you guys are expecting that and wanting that, maybe even because you know she's part of the Kardashian clan and everything like that. But I wanna be really fair, as fair as I can be about this skincare reaction and about her products because I think there are some pros and I think there are some cons. So I'm gonna talk about all of those. With that said, let's get started on her video and then we'll start to talk about the products as we go along. So I'm gonna show you guys my everyday skincare routine and just talk about my products a little more. Start with my face wash. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Even before she even gets into the face wash, I have to say branding. You guys, can we just, yeah, I mean, she really went for the branding. Everything is pink. It's very millennial. It's very catchy. It's very Kylie, this video, everything about it. My favorite product in the line. It just makes my face feel so clean and it also retains your natural moisture in your face. So you really only need one pump. It goes a long way. So, super foamy. I went through a lot of samples to get the perfect amount of just foaminess and creaminess. The scent is amazing and so refreshing. And the thing about this face wash is it doesn't strip your face. Sometimes when I use other face washes, after my face will feel super dry and like it just took all the life out of my face. This almost brings your face back to life. It's a very unique face wash. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pat my face, not wipe, because I used to really dry my face really harsh. Now we're just gonna be gentle with our faces, ladies. Oh, oh, oh. now I'm gonna go. Okay, so one thing I wanna point out is um, I feel like there's a lot of Korean skincare inspiration in the Kylie skin skincare routine and in all of these products. This cleanser is a great example of that. Foaming cleansers are really big in Korean skincare. I tend to skip foaming cleansers mostly because they can be very drying to the skin. So I've got the ingredients in front of me because I was really, really curious about this foaming face wash because there were a few comments even on like the pony video when I mentioned that I'm very wary of the foaming cleansers. And someone was like, you know, but Korean skincare foaming cleansers are very nourishing. They have like moisturizing ingredients and stuff. So she went that route with this foaming cleanser. To get that foamy 
like really bubbly consistency, you have to have surfactants in it. So there are surfactants that are gonna dry out your skin. That said, you are rinsing it off. So, you know, I'm a little bit torn about that. She does have those nourishing ingredients though. She does have those hydrating ones. So there's some glycerin in this. There's uh, sodium hyaluronate, which is a derivative of hyaluronic acid. So those are gonna help balance that dryness with the hydration. But at the end of the day, it still, in my opinion, makes your skin feel a little bit dry. It does feel really nice though, when you put it on your skin, but it's just a product that I wouldn't use. I, I just don't choose foaming face cleansers, but if you do like foaming face cleansers, this one does feel very nice. I'll also point out there is a light fragrance in here. I, I, I get very torn about fragrance because I do like having fragrance. I'm kind of old school like that because you know, back in the day, skincare products all had fragrance in it. We were all about it. It felt like it was even more luxurious. And now we've found out that fragrance can hide a lot of toxins in it. It can be irritating to the skin. Even if you don't have an irritation right now to fragrance, you could develop an irritation to it. So it's always something I point out because you should be aware of it whenever there is fragrance. There's always that potential that it could irritate your skin. So that's that. And then one of the other things I wanna point out since it's a skincare reaction video is that she said to pat her face dry and be very gentle, which I appreciate because, you know, you definitely shouldn't be rubbing your skin. And we've seen a lot of people do that if you've been watching the skincare reaction videos. So it's very nice to point out, especially to a younger generation that is the demo that really watches Kylie, um, to point out that you shouldn't be rough with your skin. You should be gently patting your skin dry. Go in with my walnut face scrub. I actually wrote all of these descriptions on the back, handwritten by Kylie. Our gentle yet effective walnut exfoliator is essential for achieving a fresh face. It is packed with a cocktail of anti-inflammatory ingredients and skin smoothing fruit extracts that buff away dead skin cells to reveal a soft, radiant complexion. Scrubs can be kind of harsh on your skin when you just put it on dry. So I'm gonna wet my face a little. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit and put it on my face. I'm gonna rub mainly like around my nose. I'm gonna avoid the delicate skin around my eyes. It smells really good. We actually put no fragrance in a lot of our products. So it just smells like pure delicious walnuts. I'm gonna wash it right off. Okay, again, we're gonna pat, ladies and gentlemen. I like to use it two to three times a week, even if you do it once a week, like after the week to just like remove dead skin cells. It really is the secret recipe to soft, delicious skin. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my... All right, so this is the most controversial product in her entire skincare line, as far as the reviews I've seen and everything that people are posting, even all the people that have been like DMing me about this line, the minute they saw the walnut scrub, they all knew that I was gonna kind of be like, walnut scrub. Here's the reason why this is controversial. Walnut pieces, like the little shards, and actually, and I, I will point out, she made these very small. Like it's actually, I feel like these little shards of walnut shell, they're, they're really tiny, and it, was, it felt a little smoother than I expected it to. That said, you can never get walnut shells to be super smooth. Like it's not a little bead where it's round, it's, basically just sh little shards, literally shards of walnut shell. And so when you think about what that's doing to your skin, no matter how small these pieces are, it's causing these little micro tears to your skin. With those micro tears, you could get micro scarring, which a lot of people don't talk about. I even say this when, you know, like with all these treatments like micro needling and stuff like that, you don't want to do it too often because when you get micro scarring, then you get this waxy texture to your skin. And you've seen it in like older women that have gotten way too many procedures done and stuff where it looks like they have zero pores, which is I guess the look they're sort of going for, but it takes away that natural glow to your skin, that natural just, you know, youthful look to your skin. So you don't wanna get rid of your pores. You don't wanna look like you've got just wax face. You'll always be shiny. That's another issue. I don't wanna always be shiny. And so the same thing happens, you know, when you're using something like a walnut scrub, it's way too harsh on your skin. No matter how small the pieces are that you put into the formula, it can cause irritation on your skin. It's just not something good to use, even once a week. I like that she pointed out that it can be a little bit more rougher on your skin when you put it on dry, because it's true. If you just take this and even rub it on the top of your hand without any, without any water, you'll notice that it starts to eventually get drier and drier, and then you just basically get down to only the walnut shells, and then it starts to really 
irritate your skin and dry it. And then one thing you'll also notice is because it's kind of opening up your skin like that, if you put some of these other products on, you'll, you might potentially start feeling irritation and that like sensitivity that it's causing on your skin. So back in my early 20s, you might've seen me test this for you guys. I'm not gonna test this for you because I already know what it does. A walnut scrub, apricot scrub, any of that kind of scrub, I just don't recommend it to you guys because I do feel like it can it can really cause some damage down the line. You might not see it right away, but down the line, you're causing that damage. It can also even cause hyperpigmentation if you're really irritating your skin. So this is one product that is definitely controversial, definitely something that I would not recommend to you guys. And you know, I wanna point out on the website, it says that it was dermatologist tested and that it, it passed like a non-irritation test on 52 people and stuff. First off, 52 people is not a lot of people to test this on. I appreciate that they tested it on 52 people, but it could be 52 people with really resilient skin and they didn't get irritation. But you know, they could have also had 52 people that have super sensitive skin but they're not saying this, right? So it's stuff that they're not pointing out. If you watched one of my other videos about, you know, like marketing terms and stuff that are misleading, dermatologist tested is one of those terms. It's like, who knows what that really means? Did a dermatologist test it and go, yay, cool, this is, you know, something that you can use, fine, which then I'd be like, I don't really know if I trust this dermatologist because I don't know any dermatologist that would recommend this. Who knows? who this dermatologist was, you know? Or if there really was a dermatologist because they can't really, they don't have to go and prove that a dermatologist tested this. So that's also something good to know. I will say, as far as the order of the skincare routine, I would go with an exfoliator and I, I recommend an exfoliator for everybody because especially as you turn 25 and you get older, we're turning over dead skin cells way slower, which is so sad. And that's what makes your skin look really dull and makes your makeup look like bumpy because it's sitting on top of all the flakiness and everything. So you want to have a good exfoliator, but you want something that's gentle and then work your way up. And I always say that like a chemical exfoliator, like an AHA, some kind of glycolic acid, lactic acid is so much better for your skin than something like this. The last thing I'll point out is she mentioned that most of the products are fragrance free. Um, I think what she really meant to say is they're, they're, free of artificial fragrance, which is a big distinction, but that doesn't mean that there is no fragrance whatsoever. People have reaction to natural ingredients, and so it's just something to keep in mind. Just because she says it's fragrance-free doesn't mean that it's not natural fragrance-free. I have vanilla milk toner, which smells delicious. It's very fast and easy to use toner. This really helps me um, remove any surviving makeup after my um, foaming face wash, so this really helps just ensure that my face is as clean as possible before I go to sleep. So I'm just gonna do a little dot on a cotton pad. Toner really helps prepare my face for my serum and my moisturizer. So I'm just gonna wipe this all over. It smells amazing. I could take a bath in this. I don't really like toners that have alcohol in them. Um, again, my face feels very stripped away. So this retains your natural moisture and just feels really good and fresh. So after my toner, I'm gonna- All right, so looking at her skincare routine, again, her order, perfectly fine. The order of her products and everything. Um, I think a lot of people do use toner to get that last bit of makeup off. You know, sometimes I'll get up into my hairline with my toner just because I know that I might've like pushed some of it up there when I was cleansing my skin. I think that's totally fine to do with your toner. This toner is very interesting though. I love that she pointed out that she doesn't like the toners that have alcohol. Toners tend to have alcohol in them. That's like one of the big things about toners. I think people like that like refreshing feel that it has and then when there is alcohol, it helps it evaporate really quick and so it feels really dry on the skin quickly, but it is stripping. This specifically has a lot of oils in it like uh, squalene, apricot kernel oil, there's avocado oil, there's apple fruit extract, which is supposedly you know put in here for its antioxidant properties and it does feel really milky. So it reminds me more of an essence, which is truly not that different from a toner. Um, I just find that essences tend to be a lot more hydrating and soothing and nourishing for the skin. I think this one really feels just like that. And you can also, you know, you can just pour it into your hand, pat it into your skin. You can put it on a cotton pad and pat it onto your skin as well. What I like about this is that it does prep your skin. You know, whenever you're using an essence or a toner, it does prep your skin for the next skincare product because when your skin is a little bit damp like that, it especially when you're using something that's hydrating to the skin, it 
really helps soak up your next product, which is usually a serum. And so I do like that she's introducing this to um, a lot of people that might not be using an essence or a toner. Is it necessary for a skincare routine? No, it's not. Is it nice to have in your skincare routine? Absolutely. It does have a little light fragrance to this. You smell a little bit of that vanilla in it. Again, I kind of like fragrance. I'm torn on it just because I'm old school, but we do know now that fragrance isn't always great for your skin and dermatologists definitely are like, no, no fragrance, absolutely not. Go in with my vitamin C serum. All you really need to do is apply a single pump. I'm actually gonna go crazy today and do two. And it's for every day, right when you put it on, it immediately like soaks into your skin. That's what I love about this one. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it really helps brighten your complexion. So, love this. Then after that. All right, if you guys watch me regularly, you know I love a good vitamin C serum. This one, you know what? I don't really have any problems with this vitamin C serum. There is a really good vitamin C ingredient in here. Um, as far as I know, it's like a fat soluble one, which I tend to prefer because I feel like water soluble is really hard to absorb into your skin and really actually do anything because it can't really penetrate, you know, the natural oil in your skin, but this one supposedly can. So I always like a really good vitamin C. I'm really excited to actually give this a try because it's $28. And in my experience, $28 is actually not that much for a good vitamin C serum. There are also other antioxidants in this vitamin C serum. There's, for instance, ferulic acid, which is another antioxidant that's good for your skin, but it also helps the vitamin C stay a little bit more stable. Um, so it's always good to have those other antioxidants in a vitamin C. Another, th another thing I like about this is that it feels a little bit more hydrating. There's glycerin in it, so it, it feels a little bit more like a light lotion, especially the way the formula is made. It really does absorb into your skin quickly. So of all the products, this is one that I'm actually really excited to keep using, and I can't wait to tell you if I really like it or not, if I've seen any difference because I'm always looking for a really good vitamin C. And I'll also say I'm glad that she's pointing out, you know, like she's incorporating a vitamin C into the skincare routine. What's funny is it's kind of like a daytime, nighttime skincare routine. And while you can obviously use vitamin C at night, and some people recommend it, I've, I even actually have had estheticians say to me that they only use vitamin C at night or they recommend to their clients to only use vitamin C at night because it can make your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun. But I love vitamin C in the morning because I'm more of a retinol person for nighttime. What I will say though is, as much as I love vitamin C to brighten your skin tone, to even your skin tone, it works in conjunction with SPF and there is zero SPF in this entire line. And while I'll praise Kylie for introducing a, you know, like a full skincare line to the to a younger generation and really helping them get started on a nice, like solid skincare set. I really wish there was an SPF. I wish that she would at least talk about SPF because they go hand in hand. Vitamin C fights the free radicals, it's an antioxidant. Your SPF fights the UV rays and that's the main reason why we're getting photo aging on our skin the sun ruins your skin. And so if you're using something like this, that's gonna make your skin a little bit more sensitive, you have to have SPF. And I wish you would at least point that out. I will use my face moisturizer. I love my face moisturizer because it's not, I don't really like super thin moisturizers. I like to feel lathered and delicious and moisturized. Also, this moisturizer is my base for my makeup right now. This makes my makeup look flawless every single time. I'm just gonna pump. I'm gonna do like two and a half squirts. This feels, there's no, um, there's no scent in this, so it just smells like all the natural ingredients in here. I learned strong fragrances can be kind of overwhelming, and also when it comes to your face, I feel like you just wanna feel clean and like you're not putting fragrance on your face, so that was kind of important to me to keep everything super light and clean. Your face just looks naturally hydrated. I love putting this on just to leave the house if I'm wearing no makeup. It is the perfect base for my makeup, you guys. This has changed my life. Okay, so. All right, so now, moisturizer. Um, again, the order of her products, perfectly fine. You know, if you think about it, Kylie has a lot of people behind her. She's obviously the face to this. She's testing out these products, but she's also got probably really good formulators behind her. She's probably got a lot of skincare experts behind it, also helping her, besides the branding being good. I mean, the products overall, I really do think she like, you know, she came out with like a solid set 
as far as the types of products that she came out with. This moisturizer is exactly the way I like my moisturizers. It's very straightforward. The main ingredient seems to be shea butter. There's other ingredients like banana leaf extract, oat bran extract, orange peel extract. Orange peel extract, I'm a little bit like, mm, about because that can actually be irritating to the skin. Um, there's glycerin, glycerin's a great humectant. People talk about hyaluronic acid all the time, but glycerin's like old school, right? Like that is one of the humectants that a lot of brands have used and continue to use to help hydrate your skin. This feels very nice. It does feel very light, but it also does feel like a good moisturizer. I've mentioned before in some of my other videos that shea butter, is a great moisturizer. I like to use it on my belly while I'm pregnant right now um, because I feel like it's just really a really great moisturizer for your skin. It really doesn't have a strong fragrance to it at all if it says it's fragrance free. Um, again, there's some of these natural ingredients in here though that help give it a little bit of fragrance. It's very light though, and I agree, I don't want my fragrance to be like perfume on my skin, but overall, great moisturizer. So. Home run with the vitamin C so far, home run with the moisturizer. Now, last, definitely not least, my eye cream. It pretty much is the best recipe for your eyes. My sisters taught me at a really young age to wear eye cream. I feel like you could start as early as you want. It's just a good preventative to keep your under eyes hydrated and moisturized. I designed this with a tip so you never actually have to use your fingers. I love that about this because sometimes I don't want to put on eye cream at night. It's a lot of work. So this makes it super easy for me. So I'm just gonna squeeze it on here and then apply it right under my eyes. I could definitely cover up a late night partying or even if you just stayed up late and haven't gotten a lot of sleep, this is a quick fix. And voila. So that is... All right, and last, eye cream. If you watch my videos, you know that I don't put like a huge emphasis on eye cream, especially at night. I'm not one that uses an eye cream at night at all, actually, but I do use eye cream during the day because I wear a lot of makeup. I feel like it can really be helpful to use just moisturizer in general under makeup. And so a nice eye cream like this one is great to use for something like that. Is it gonna save you time to use this applicator? I mean, not necessarily, because it's either you're gonna do this and put it on your skin, or you're just gonna do this and put it on your skin. That seems like it'd be it contaminated a little bit quicker, but uh, that's me being like neurotic about it. I'd say that for an eye cream though, this is a great one. I really like the consistency of it. I like all of the ingredients I'm reading in it. It's like, you know, it has jojoba seed oil, it has vitamin C, it has vitamin E, it has caffeine, which, you know, everyone says that like caffeine can help like um, brighten your skin and help make it, you know, like, you know, like smooth it a lot more and everything. And people even like tout caffeine for like cellulite and stuff like that. I'm not sure how much caffeine can really do to your skin truly but it's a nice ingredient. Um, there's green tea extract, pomegranate extract. If anything, all of those are antioxidants and that's always good for your skin. I love the consistency of this. You can use it as far as the order goes. You can use it before your moisturizer, you can use it after your moisturizer. She put it in the correct place around her orbital bone, which is where you wanna put it because eye cream will travel no matter what. You know, you do get dry around your eyes. You don't have those oil glands that you have on the rest of your face. But again, I use eye cream more during the day this one is a good one. My whole routine, I have been creating this for a year. I've been using it for a little under that, maybe 10 months. It really has become an everyday thing for me. I can't live without this, and I'm so excited for you guys to have this, try this. They're amazing products, and I know you guys have also been asking for a skincare routine for a really long time, and I wish I could have shared this earlier, but I'm so happy that you guys can get your hands on this ASAP because this is my skincare routine, and I'm so excited for you guys to have it. Get your Kylie Skin May 22nd on KylieSkin.com. And I got it. And just so you guys know, I'm not cool enough to be on the Kylie Skin or Kylie anything product PR list. So I, I actually really did go ahead and pay for all of this. Of all of these products, I would say that there are three home runs. Um, the eye cream is awesome. The moisturizer, again, awesome. And the vitamin C, if it, if it ends up working over time, I'd say that this is gonna be an awesome purchase and awesome find as well. I'll actually just continue using this and then I'll update you guys on my Instagram, at Susan Yara, about what I think of it. As far as the vanilla milk toner goes, I'm kind of so-so on this. I think that, you know, it's, 
great that it doesn't have alcohol in it. It's, you know, it's like a little bit too scented for me to use as an everyday essence, but I don't think it's bad. I just don't think it's like amazing either. But when we get to those first three products, her cleansing products, the makeup wipes, you guys know, I don't have to explain any more about that. Um, the foaming face wash, you know, I'm just so-so on foaming face washes. And then the walnut face scrub, I absolutely, I do not want you guys using this. Please don't use this on your skin, even to give it a try because it's gonna be harmful to your skin. And again, I always point out, this isn't the stuff that you might necessarily see immediately. Some of you might, you might have immediate reaction to this because it can be harsh on your skin, but some of you might not. And it's the damage that you're causing over time. And I know that a lot of people that are gonna be using this skincare line are gonna be younger because that's the demographic that really follows Kylie. And so, you know, as much as I really appreciate actually that she's introducing a full skincare line, to a younger generation. I really hope that not everybody uses this on a regular basis because this is too harsh on your skin. But as far as Kylie's routine, she's got it down, she's got it down. I know that a lot of people are really trashing her. I don't, I don't appreciate that. I feel like you should give it you know, a little bit of a try. You should give her a thumbs up for really introducing skincare to a younger generation because it's something that like, even brands like Proactive and all of those brands that were, you know, they're like targeting the younger generation. When you really think about that, it's like, you know, so many people say that they've seen like a huge difference in their son's skin or their, you know, like somebody that's like 16 is like, oh, my acne stopped and stuff. What they're doing is introducing a full skincare routine to a younger generation. And I fully appreciate that. You know, so it's it's one of those things where it's like, I don't fault her for, for creating this product line. I don't fault her for wanting to make money. Why not? That's what we're all about, right? Like that's what beauty products are at the end of the day. And now that you guys know that I probably wouldn't use those first three products in the skincare range, I do wanna know if you guys wanna still see a 30 day review because I'm not gonna use the full line and I already said that to you guys, but I will use for sure the vitamin C, the eye cream and the moisturizer so I could update you, you guys on those or we could just do it on Instagram. I can tell you guys in 30 days what I thought of it because I think it'd be really fast anyway. But you tell me in the comments. Find me on Instagram too. I'm at Susan Yura, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.